Okay, hello class. Today we're going to be looking at this idea of lookup tables and hashing. Actually today we're just going to be looking at lookup tables and we'll break this into two lessons. Even though lookup tables are super, super easy to understand uh, and this lesson won't take too long, we're going to just look at lookup tables today and then we'll continue on with hashing next time. So what is a lookup table? A lookup table is really just what you, you know, the words say it is. It's a table of information. And this table helps us find information very quickly. And so basically, it's an array. It's an array of objects where the objects hold the different kinds of data that we want to access. And, you know, we identify the object with some sort of key that then brings us to the different element in our table. Um, the, the idea of a lookup table is that it's very fast, that accessing the information is an O1 activity. Once we have the index, we just look it up in the array. That index needs to be some number between 0 and the array length minus 1. Okay. Classic example. Uh, I'll just go through three examples. Lookup tables could be useful if I want to say, look up what city is this particular zip code what you know for 99950 what city is that if we put all of that information into zip codes there are, there are five digits in, in a zip code and if we put in all the different city informations we can very quickly find out any sort of zip uh, any sort of city information now one downside to this in this particular example of zip codes is that Actually, in the United States, there are maybe around 40,000 different zip codes. Um, but this table goes from 0 up to 99999, 100,000. So over 50% of this zip code table is null, uh, empty, with you know kind of a, a nothing value. So we're kind of wasting a lot of space. Um, we're going to look at how we can solve this problem later on. Another example of a lookup table, um, functions. You know, actually, I'm going to use this um, example here. If you've taken any sort of calculus before, you know that we can um, um, calculate the value of sine by some sort of polynomial function. And in fact, this was probably the way that, you know, back in the days before calculators were really, you know, in existence, this is probably how we actually calculated the values of sine and 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 they had to actually crunch these numbers out. And there was a time where uh, instead of repeatedly calculating the values of sine and punching this into a calculator, and you know, calculators say long time ago did not even have a sine function button. They had to do some sort of calculation. And so instead, tables were created. In fact, when I was uh, in school, um, you know, in my high school days, um, we actually use these kind of tables that we would, you know, if I want to find the sine of 14, I would look it up in the back of my math book to find out what the sine value was. So that's the idea of a, a lookup table. And again, we can code that up pretty easily. This is an example where we're coding up all the, uh, you know, 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1st, 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd. And so we just look it up instead of, you know, doing a math calculation. This is kind of a silly example because, um, um, you know, computers can do this calculation pretty fast anyways. So in this certain example, I don't know if this would be, you know, a thing I would actually use it for. Um, but, you know, maybe like Fibonacci values, uh, things like that, uh, a table would be very useful. Another example, um, you know, just storing color information. And, you know, suppose I have a palette of colors here and the idea, this is a, a color picker, right? And you just click on a certain color here um, and you can put your color information into a two by two array, a two dimensional array. And so when I click on this color here, it gives me a value of, you know, some sort of RGB value um, that I could just easily find. Okay, so that's another uh, possible use of a lookup table. So in conclusion, what is a lookup table? It's, it's just an array. It's an array that holds information for us. 
It can be used for data retrieval. It can be used for um, compression, encryption of information. It can be used to calculate functions that uh, you don't want to actually rerun the whole calculation for. It can be used for color mapping, you know, a variety of things. So the next time we meet, um, or the next lecture, we'll be talking about how to deal with this problem here, where um, instead of having all these empty fields, what can we do with that? And that will lead us into what we call hashing. But we'll do that next time. Okay, that's it for today. Bye, everybody.